our God we worship, we bless, we honor, we praise, and we thank you. We thank you that you are God of everything. You own it all. You've made it all. And you know it all. Thank you for the confidence that we have in you, that when we come to prayer, we come confidently knowing that you already know, that you've seen, you have felt, and you have already made ways. God, we worship you, and we bless your name. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who gives to us good news that we are connected with you through eternity. Thank you, God, for purchasing our salvation through Jesus Christ. Thank you that we are saved, that we are sanctified, and that we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Today, Lord, we pray that the work of the Holy Spirit will amplify itself, magnify your work in our lives personally, in our families, Lord, in our present and in our future. We pray in the name of Jesus for the hand of God to be upon us in every way. But, Lord, more than anything, we come and we ask for your hand. We ask, God, that you will speak powerfully. We ask, God, that we will tune our ears and tune our listening to your speaking, that we might hear you. Father, with so much noise going on in the world, may you quiet your people that we may hear the voice of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you give to us, Lord, the sensitivity of the Holy Spirit to know that it is you speaking, not, Lord, our unsurrendered conscious mind, but you, Lord. We pray today, we even pray, even into the issues, the battle of our conscious mind and our unconscious mind, the things that we continue to to feed our flesh and feed our senses and to to dissect and digest all of the noise, all of the speaking, all of the issues. Lord, may you give to us a Sabbath, a rest in our mind. In the name of Jesus, we hear your word that you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind, whose unconscious mind is stayed on him, who has arrested every conscious thing, every alert, every bit of information, every book, every, every newscast, every movie, everything that we absorb and, and is stuck, Lord, in our mind. May we release that to you today, that we might hear the voice of God. We pray that the word of the Lord would flood our conscious mind and free us, Lord, that we might walk in the confidence that we have heard God. Ah, oh, magnify, we pray in the name of Jesus, your hand. We pray, Lord, that even in these states that you will speak, speak, Lord, in our gut. Speak in our tuition, in our intuition. Speak, God, in in those spaces where only you have access. May we provide access, Lord, to our deep places, to you and to you only, not to friends, not to family, God, but to you. Lord, we carve out that space that only you have the key, only you have, Lord, access into this space that we might hear you that we might follow you, that we might know you. We we even pray into John ten twenty seven. You said, My sheep hear my voice and I know them, and they follow me. Ah, and a stranger they will not follow. Father, we we pray against the strange voices, every strange voice that is speaking, Lord, things that are not of you, every strange voice, God, that, that feels eerie in our spirit. God, we pray today that you will rebuke the strange voice, the, the voice that leads us off a cliff the voice that is not filled with the wisdom of God, the voice that is not the comfort of God, the voice that is not the assurance of God, but the voice that, that is a wolf in sheep's clothing, 
God, we pray against deceptive voices in the name of Jesus. We, we, we pray against logical voices that are not centered in your will. We pray the will of God for the people of God that we might hear your voice. So faith, Romans 10 and 17 says, it comes by hearing and hearing through the word of God. So we pray your word today. We pray that you give to us not just an ear to hear, but an inner ear to know. Not not just, Lord, the ability to see, not just sight, but we pray for insight that you might walk with us, that you cut through the noise, cut through the noise, God, in the name of Jesus, the multiple voices, God, the surface traffic. May May we hear your voice and your voice only. May we know that it is the Lord that has spoken. May we, God, know your voice only. Amplify. Ah. Amplify your voice, but your voice is amplified when we eliminate the conscious voices, the other speakings. May we lessen that. Give to us the discernment, Lord, to quiet the other voices. Ah, that you might speak, that we might hear you, that we might know. We pray that you settle our spirit when you speak, that you give to us, that you give to us inner peace, that, that you bring things together, Lord, naturally, that supernaturally they come together. We have inner peace. Hallelujah. And, Father, we have a confirming witness. We thank you for inner peace and, 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 and confirming witnesses and things that are coming together because it is aligned to your will. But everything that is not of you, Lord, we pray today that you tag it. Tag, Lord. Tag it in the Spirit. Tag it, Lord, that we might know this is not of God. This may be good, but it's not God. This may sound smart, but it is not of God. We pray your word today, that your word will navigate us through the noise. We pray the word of God would be that GPS that causes us to arrive in the will of God, that our destination is the will of God. The, the safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. So we pray today that the manifested will of God be known as we pray, as we seek you, as we love you, as we come after you. We pray, God. We pray for honesty. We pray that we would honestly hear. We pray, God, for the for the courage to honestly hear the voice of God amid everything else. The hear, God, and then, God, to be authentic, to walk out what we've heard. Hallelujah. God, we pray that you give to us the confidence of a Noah, a Noah who will preach that it's going to rain because he heard you and despite Lord the mocking and despite the social rejection despite all of the calamities he held on to what he heard may we hold on to what we've heard from you ah God in our knower with the old saints say in our knower God we want to know that we know that we know that we know that we know that you have spoken and then give to us Lord what you said to Joshua have I not commanded thee hallelujah to be strong and courageous that we know that you're a healer, that we know that you're a provider, that we know that you're a way maker, that we know that you will deliver us, that we know that you are present, you are with us, hallelujah, you are with us. And so we hear, Lord, uh, Jeremiah uh, 33 and 3, call to me and I will answer you. Hallelujah. And I will tell you great and mighty, great and hidden things that you have not known. So, Lord, we call upon you according to your word. Ah, El Elohim, Adonai, Jehovah, we call upon you that you might answer us, that you might speak, not that we deserve an answer. 
answer from an almighty God. But Lord, we ask for clarity. We ask, God, that you will speak and cut through the noise of the world. We call unto you, and you said you would answer, and then you would tell us, God, great things. So, God, we pray today that you will whisper great things in our spirit, great things, witty inventions, great things, insight, great things, wisdom. Your word says if any man lacks wisdom, to let him ask of God, and you'll give liberally. So we ask God for the wisdom of God. Give me the wisdom of this in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Give me the wisdom of this, God. The wisdom of this, we pray. Ah, wisdom for every struggle, we pray. Grace, hallelujah. Grace, the wisdom of God, the grace of God, the peace of God, the wonder of God. We pray in your name today. We pray that when you speak, burdens will be lifted. When you speak, hallelujah, that situations will be turned around. So, Lord, we speak speak confidently that we've heard you. So death, the Lord rebuke you. Death, the Lord rebuke you. Death, the Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We decree, we loose, we declare in the atmosphere for miraculous turnarounds. We pray today for surprises, God surprises, because we heard you. Hallelujah. And Father, our conscious mind, everything we know, everything we think we know, all the information that we've accumulated is just information. We pray the wisdom of God. Give to us the application of that information. But Lord, we surrender our consciousness to you that we might hear you, that we might hear God as Noah heard you, that we might hear here, God, as Jesus heard you in the flesh, may we surrender all that fights against the very voice of God. You said call and you would answer. Now, Lord, give us, give to us, answer, God. Speak to us, not in a demanding tone. We can't demand you, but, Lord, we ask, we ask humbly, we ask, God, with great passion that you will speak great things. Ha, yea, God, even in dark days, speak great things. Even in times of lack, speak great things because you are great. And then God speak hidden things. Ah, great and mighty, great and wonderful. But the God give to us the hidden thing. Show us what we're not seeing in the name of Jesus. Show us what we're not seeing. Give to us the hidden things. Heighten our understanding. Things that we have not known. So we pray, hallelujah, that the Holy Spirit of God will give to us a word of knowledge, a word of knowledge, a word of knowledge, giving us knowledge about things that we, we didn't know, we didn't have information, but by your supernatural transfer, by through the Holy Spirit, you make us aware, you bring us to places. We pray in the name of Jesus, and God, we declare your word. We declare the words of Jesus, that whoever is of God hears the words of God, and the reason why we don't hear them is because we are not of you. So, Lord, speak so we know that we're connected. God, speak so that we hear you, so that we know that we are connected to you. Whoever is of God hears God. Ah, so the world hears the world. The world hears the world. God, may we hear you. We pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And, God, we pray Isaiah 30 and 21. And your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. And when you turn to the right or when you turn to the, this is the way, walk in it. Give us the peace of your word. Not only do we hear it audibly, but God, we hear we have an inward witness of peace. Uh, we have the confirmation of circumstances. Thank you, God. And out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, you've declared it. May we hear you today as we take on our day, as we navigate through our calamity, as we see uncertainty. And God, and we are not confused. May we never be confused with the voice of God 
and the voice of man. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Stay in his face and journey well.